It's Fill the Fort time. We'll have details on how you can get your Fill the Fort t-shirts coming up. Good morning, Indians. On today's broadcast, we'll have wrestling results from Tuesday night's Independent City Meet. All this and more coming up on KFOI TV 15 News. Good morning, Fort Osage High School. I'm Amate Butte. And I'm Morgan Parsons. Today is Thursday, December 5th, 2013, and here are today's news and announcements. Student Council will host the annual Fill the Fort game on December 13th. Fill the Fort shirts are on sale this week only during lunch shifts for $10. The shirt is your admission ticket into the boys game and the black light dance after the game. Don't miss out. There's always something special cooking up in the foods classrooms at the fort. One of Mr. Tholen's classes decided to make pizza from scratch. Students had to make the dough and then were able to add their own toppings they brought from home. They could make regular pepperoni pizzas or specialty pizzas. Megan Benson needs your help to complete her student council service project. She's organizing a toy drive for the Baby Grace Foundation for single parents. Please bring a new or gently use toy to room 43 from December 9th through the 13th. All toys will be delivered to baby Grace and Buckner so parents can pick out what they need on Sunday, December 15th. Megan thanks you in advance for her help. Ms. Thomas's Spanish classes are getting into the spirit of the holiday season by singing Spanish translations of classic Christmas jingles and Spanish traditionals. The students continue to learn new phrases and words while still being able to show their Christmas spirit in the classroom. Now here's today's sports report. The Indian wrestling team hit the mats last Tuesday at the Independent City Meet hosted at William Chrisman. Both the varsity and JV squads competed in three duels with Independence Area High Schools. The varsity team beat Truman 54-24 and Van Horn 54-30, but lost to William Chrisman 40-27. The Indians were led by Gunnar Haney, Jesse Jeffries, Elias Vawifi, Jesse Racer, and Tyler Selame, who went 3-0 on the night. The JV defeated Truman 31-30, but lost to Van Horn 36-30, and William Christman 60-22. The Indians were led by Ethan Simmons, who went 3-0, and Kyle Dickmeyer, Ty Murphy, Cyrus Fields, Drew Wartz, and David Chestnut, who all went 2-1 on the night. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar, the varsity, JV, and sophomore boys basketball teams travel to Truman High tomorrow night. The sophomore games start at 4 p.m., the JV game begins at 5.30, and the varsity boys tip off at 7. Come out and support your Indians. That's all we have for you today. Don't forget to get a tag off the giving tree located in the help room. Thanks for watching KFOI TV 15 News, and have a great rest of your Thursday.